restart line you see has been moved around the corner from where it was last year. Robbie got a good restart. Here comes Scott Pruitt. Pruitt's going to try to make a run on Harvey. Harvey tried to block him, was not able to. He gets position. Oh, oh contact. Got in too heavy. But eight tires are better than four. Yes, sir. <laughs> Used Kevin to keep him on the track. That's what I was talking about. That's This is the time. This is the easiest time to make that pass. Jeff Gordon was seven-tenths of a second faster than Robbie Gordon last time in here. But Robbie, we, we, we believe, is in safe fuel mode. Right. But Jeff looks like he's getting through the S's as good, if not better, than anybody. But he makes a lot of time up on these cars. Come in by the white flag next time. Here's the cap. First to second to third. Going to be Scott Pruitt's best ever NASCAR Winston Cup finish if the fuel holds out for him and he finishes second. How about it, Matt? Hell, they have calculated, recalculated, then tried it one more time. They are very, very close. Jerry Schweitz has a can of fuel. Greg Posney has a can of starter fluid. But they are not going to come in. They are going for it. Okay. Remember, they are not racing for points, just pride. If he didn't run out right there in that last corner, yeah. it's too late. They may as well put that stuff away. Yeah. And, you know, Jeff Gordon was He's right out of gas. 24, out of gas. Well, that's right. I thought he was, he was right behind him last lap. Oh, man, just after he went by the pit entrance. So how much can he sputter around the course on the last lap? And how many positions might it cost him? He's still running. He ran out in one spot. Yeah. And how about the leader, Robbie Gordon? Half a lap now from the checkered flag. Does he have the gasoline to make it to the stripe? Robbie Gordon seeking his third career NASCAR Winston Cup win in his second of 2003. The dive onto pit road as Rusty Wallace spun in front of him at lap 51 may turn out to be the key to victory today. It's all about track position these days and he got it then by being able to pit before pit road was closed for that caution flag. Close from here. Yep. Second win of the season for Robbie Gordon, the road king. Today at Watkins Glen, he wins the Sirius Satellite Radio at the Glen. Look at Dale Jr. Oh, Jeff Gordon spins off the last corner. Jeff Gordon is spun coming to the checkered flag. He's not going to make it to the start-finish line unless he can fire it up. And look at all the cars coming by him and all the positions he's losing. How about uh, you saw Jeff Gordon there? A little flush. How about a burnout? How about a burnout? Come okay. On. There's the burnout. <laughs> very, very neatly across the start finish line. That's a pretty tight burnout. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, but if he doesn't burn the right rear tire off it like Harvick did at Indianapolis, he hasn't talked to his teammate. Oh, he's trying to. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, back at Watkins Glen, Robbie Gordon is today's winner. And Chevy congratulates Robbie and the number 31 Monte Carlo. Robbie will tell you the only thing that comes close to Monte Carlo's reputation on the track is its reputation on the street. More champions depend on Chevy. We'll be there. Bill? Robbie Gordon sitting patiently in victory lane, now taking off the helmet, relaxing after a tough Sunday afternoon. The helmet comes out, and Robbie Gordon sweeps the road course races, earlier a win in Sonoma, California, and today, with the Fire Department City of New York logo on the hood of his car, he pulls into victory lane at Watkins Glen.
them up either. Got a car on your left, buddy. Clear on both sides. That's it. We win. All right. 